The following video contains graphic content that may offend some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Branding and cutting are both forms of scarification. A lot of times people mention scarification and they're talking about just cutting, but ultimately they're both forms of scarification. All brandings after they're done basically look like that. This one looks very different than this one, just because this one stayed flat, whereas the stars raised up and are thicker lines. With scarification, the cutting side of it started about 5,000 years ago in Africa. It's a form of adorn adornment, uh, random lines cut. Uh, the branding side of it's got a darker history. It was a lot of marking of slaves during the slave trade. And then from there, uh, it was punk rock in the 70s and people coming out of the closet as being kinky in the 70s that led to the first piercing studio being opened in LA called Gauntlet. Okay, so this is what it looks like, you know, a day or two after the fact, but uh, we're gonna do one now, so let's do one. Start off, can you describe your relationship with Elwood? That's kind of a loaded question. Yeah. <laughs> we thought it might be. Um, he's my boss. And... <laughs> well, wow, that's I don't know, a good I don't answer. I don't know how to describe it, really. I don't. It's, it's a unique relationship. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to do the branding part of this. So there's going to be four strikes and then I'm going to be using a cotter machine to do the rest of it. So the four strikes are going to be done with a piece of stainless steel that will be heated up with a blowtorch to roughly 3000 degrees. Okay, one more deep breath. And out. Oh, it hurts way more than the tattoo. So now I'm going to fill in the rest of that side with, it's called a thermal cutter unit. It's uh, originally meant for invasive surgery, so if somebody is bleeding on the table, they can go in and cauterize it so you don't bleed. I like to draw with it. I've seen people take a wire coat hanger and shape it into something they want. Uh, heat it up and touch it to the skin. The issue with that is that a wire coat hanger is a plated metal. So you've got something that's gonna heat up and cool down at different temperatures. So the plating can uh, cool off faster than the core of it and actually chip off and embed itself into your skin. Eh, that's the branding side. Now we're gonna cut you. All right, so now we're gonna do the, the cutting. So this is a... Uh, Number 10 scalpel. Um, don't try this at home. Okay. There's so many different sensations and pain is just another sensation and it's all about how you interpret it. And it can be completely different for one person than another. This one isn't as sharp and in your face, I guess. It still hurts, but <laughs> it's, it's a totally different sensation. Um, with scarification, the fact that I can do the same design on 10 different people and six months later it's going to look completely different on every person because it's entirely based around how the individual heals. A lot of times people mention scarification and they're talking about just cutting, but ultimately they're both forms of scarification. So the end result will be a scar for both of these. Um, we went with two different mediums for this one because we wanted to have the two different textures going on. Oh, cool. Okay, good. <laughs> Piercing belly buttons and nostrils pays the rent, but uh, I love doing the unusual stuff. When people come in and say, you know, I want something different. I love sitting down with somebody for hours or days and just designing that piece for them, whatever it is, whether it's a unique piercing or whether it's uh, 
uh, scarification or brand or whatever. I, I just love sitting down with them and designing that.